Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Pinky Hooks. I am your host, Shania Lancaster. Happy Tuesday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me this evening to see what I'm chatting about. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around for my little conversation that I'm having tonight, which brings me to the topic of... <laughs> Is extracurricular activities at work necessary? <laughs> or should I say, is extracurricular activities at work, should they be mandatory? And where I'm going with that is because lately you guys know that I have been talking a lot about my job and how it stresses me out and how it just really, really, sometimes it get on my nerves, okay? Let me be clear, folks. Um, I am grateful that I have a job because there are people out there who can't find a decent job like mine. Um, every job has things that they don't like, and, you know, there's pros and cons. And I know that you guys hear me, like, talk, but that's just me venting. That's venting about my day, so I don't go to sleep with it or whatever. And um, yeah, I, that's just me. You know, I, I've always had a lot of problems with corporate America, but for some reason, I <laughs> that's what I do best. And I, I just never knew how to get out of it until it's time to retire, I guess. <laughs> but nevertheless. So again, the topic is, is correct extracurricular activities necessary? And I'm going to give you an example. So today at work, <laughs> we were in a meeting and my manager needed to bring all of her departments that's under her together for the first time as the team continues to expand. And, you know, she's she's addressing different things. And then she says, oh, and by the way, she was just like, I plan on going forward like once a month, I would like for us to do team building you know, activities. So she gives an example and says something like where we all go to lunch, um, we go and maybe go to Top Golf or, you know, um, what's that place called where all the arcades are, you know, um, bowling and I mean, not that, but um, Dave and Buster's, something like that, or, um, you know, panic rooms or whatever. And she was just like saying that, because we're getting bigger. She was just like, you know, we all know each other, you know, but when we're interacting with each other, we're just only discussing work. Like it would be nice like to kick back and, you know, d be around other people, like people in, in your team and get to know them better where we're not just talking about work. And when she said it, she was looking at me. She, she was looking at everybody, but I was sitting like right next to her, but she kept looking at me. Now this lady, I have worked for, I've worked for previously at another job and she was kind enough to bring me to this job, you know? And um, <laughs> she knows how I am. I have never really liked extracurricular activities. I think I did when I was in my 20s. You know, I didn't really take work serious. I mean, who did? I mean, I was a party girl, you know, who cared, you know? But by the time I reached, I would say mid-30s, I started getting set in my ways as far as work goes. And what I'm asking you guys is, is it, I mean, are you guys comfortable? Like, even if you don't work in corporate America, let's say you work in a retail job, you, I mean, any job where there's multiple people and somehow your boss thinks it's a good idea to do some, what they call team building activities to bond us, to bring us closer together. Now, my regular subscribers know who I am. And if you are new and you're watching this channel, you may need to go back and watch a couple of my rants and raves just to kind of figure out my personality. I am a fun person. I do like to be around people, but there is something about, <laughs> there's something about being around my coworkers. <laughs> I just, I, I feel like when 
they want to do extracurricular activities for me, that's a red flag and it's a no-no. And I, I'm just going to say what I feel about that. Let me explain to y'all, like, have y'all ever gone to a Christmas party or uh, an event, let's say a company barbecue, right? Remember, this is all about supposedly getting to know your co-workers. Maybe if it's an event where they get to bring their spouses or whatever, you know, they bring their family in, introduce and say, hey, this is my husband, this is my children or whatever. That's all cool in the gang, brother. But for me, I feel like extracurricular activities at work, other than work, <laughs> you know, and maybe just having like a birthday cake for everybody, y'all staying around saying happy birthday or whatever, anything extra can open up the doors to some unwanted relations. And what I mean by that is that I noticed in all the years that I've been working, when you have events, extracurricular events, we'll just, we'll go with a Christmas party because that's, that's, that's pretty much standard for everybody, right? You go to a Christmas party, people tend to get a little bit too comfortable being around you. Do you know what I mean by that? What I mean is that some people feel like, they feel like it gives them the green light to go to floor it. And what I mean is they're going to stop on that gas pedal and start asking you personal things. They'll start saying things to you because they don't got a little bit of alcohol in them. And even if there's no alcohol being served, they feel like since we're all in a relaxed environment, they kind of get loose at the mouth. They start asking, they, they just start getting a little bit too personal. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, shy, you know, so, you know, are you dating anybody? I mean, you don't say anything. I mean, do you even have kids or, you know, I mean, I don't know why people can't stick to the general crap, like nice weather we're having, <laughs> you know, I feel like when you have those kinds of activities, if you don't have a whole entire group of people that don't know how or they know how to zip it or they choose their questions wisely and professionally if you got anything other than that in your group i'm telling you right now it's going to be a fiasco it may not be a fiasco at that moment but normally when you have extracurricular activities such as holiday parties and things of that nature you know, you don't, it don't, it may not happen right then and there, but I promise you, I promise you either by that afternoon or the next day, possibly the next week, somebody's going to be like, so you don't remember, like, you didn't hear what she said to me. You ain't hear how he, you know, how he talked to me. You know, what was that all about? It, it always happens like that. Or I feel like you might get too comfortable and make a mistake and slip up and say a little bit too much of your personal information to people about yourself. And then they use it against you down the line or mistake it for weakness. You know, I just, I'm, I'm telling y'all from past experience, I feel like when the jobs say, you know, oh, and, and when they make it mandatory, See, that's what I don't like that because I'm like, there's nowhere in my contract that it says, you know, like I have to tend to, you know, a luncheon or some extracurricular activity or whatever. Folks, I don't do extracurricular activities at work. I just don't. I, I don't. And some people may say, Shy, you might want to, you know, you might want to do it. It might release some tension. A lot of times I will hear other people say, well, Shine, you're actually causing tension because everybody on the team starts looking at you like, you know, why couldn't you do it? And, and then I'll get the people that say, I don't want to do it neither, but I'm doing it. But that brings me to my second point. That's being fake. To me, that's fake. That's fake. There's different kinds of fakes. I think we all do a little bit of fakeness, you know, now, <laughs> for instance, like, 
you know, okay, do I want to be professional all the time? No, no, I do not. Do I want to just talk to you like I'm still, you know, back home from Philadelphia when I was a teenager when you get on my nerves? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> but I don't because I need the paycheck. But that's dealing with work. When you ask me to play nice in the playground, you know, and I told you I didn't want to go to recess. You're making me upset. And, and not to mention... The times that I have participated in extracurricular activities, I always got feedback. And it was usually negative because it was just like, well, you acted like you didn't want to be there. Because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to be there. I tried to tell you that. But you wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? Then people get mad because a person like me, I don't have a poker face. Either I'm happy or I'm not. That's what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? I will try, but I mean, I'm not sitting there in the corner rolling my eyes, y'all. But what I'm saying is you can feel my aura. You can feel the aura when somebody does not want to do something. And what I'm saying is, is a team building activity that's outside of work, like going to a lunch. You don't want to go to lunch or, you know, uh, going to go play uh, miniature golf or whatever. You don't really want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And then you just sitting around. Maybe you just scrolling through your phone, which is worse. To me, I feel, I feel like if I just fall behind, this is how I'm looking at it. Let me stay behind, okay? I will continue to work. Y'all go have fun. And then that way, everybody is happy because now Shania feels better that I have not ruined the group's activity. You're going to feel better because I wasn't there with my little funky attitude. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? And last but not least, what does it have to do with work? Like, I really do get mad when people start saying, you know, it's it's your job. And I'll be like, no, no, ma'am, no, sir. My job is to tend to the practices and the doctors and, you know, make payments and all that nature. There is nowhere in that description where it says, Shania, you need to go to miniature golf or bowling once a month. I don't. And I hate when people will say, you're not going to go far in this company. <laughs> so you think I need to go, I need to go bowling to, to advance my career. You think I need to go and, and do laser tag, you know, so I can get a good review for merit. Hear me out, folks. If I was trying to become a manager of people or whatever, I don't know. I guess maybe, you know, I guess, but I'm not. And I, I, I just feel like that sometimes when jobs force you to do extracurricular activities, you're saying to build the team, but you, like I say, you could actually be breaking them apart. Because now you got people like me who resent the whole entire thing. Like, I just don't want to go. Now, I'm not, I don't want y'all to say, oh my God, Pinky Hoax is on a rant. It's not an angry rant. It's just an, it's just a, a, an inquisitive rant where I'm trying to get y'all opinion. Like, is it necessary? You know, is it bad? Because I really don't see the point in hanging out and doing anything extra with people. I, and I really need to stop saying that I don't like my coworkers. I don't like, you know what it is? I don't like their ways. And and don't get me wrong. I, I promise you, I know that each and every one of them can come out with something about me. I know that, you know, about my attitude, not my work ethic, my attitude. And my attitude usually comes out when someone tries to force me to do something I don't want to do. <laughs> That's when I, yeah. I mean, if y'all ever met my dad and y'all talked to my dad, 
And my mom, they'll be like, Shine is perfectly fine until you try to, uh, did you try to make her do something she ain't want to do? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just wondering. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that because I was just like, it, it's just too much. I, I feel like you, I, and not to mention, I also feel like, especially with corporate America, you're already making me do a whole bunch of stuff that I feel is unethical anyway to begin with, you know? Um, but <laughs> when it comes to saying things like, we're all going to do it, Shania. No, this isn't a request. Now, she didn't say that today, just in case I got a couple of people from my team looking at this this thing or whatever, just in case she looking at it, but I doubt it because she had her kids volleyball game, but nevertheless, what I'm saying is what she was trying to say, like, I know because she said it to me before, like, everybody going to go stuff for you. You're going to cause tension. You're going to make people not like you. But then again, I keep telling y'all, like, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Am I a bad person, y'all? Daddy, I don't want to do it. They try to make me do, try to make me play at recess. I said no. And my dad's gonna say the famous line, give him hell, baby. <laughs> yeah, so let me know. Do y'all have jobs like that? Do y'all do do y'all have to do stuff like that? Do y'all dip out? Because that's what I do, y'all. When when it gets real, real close to the event, like when it, you know how I give you the 15-minute reminder on your outlook. If you're in corporate or office job, it gives you a 15 minutes, like 15 minutes, we're all going to top golf or whatever. I get up. I get lost. I grab my keys and my phone. I go somewhere. I either go to my car. I go into the bathroom, not the bathroom that's on that floor. I pick some other floor, hide out there until I know that everybody don't pulled out the parking lot. I do all kinds of stuff. And then I come back and then you can hear them coming back. Like they the best of friends. That's what makes me mad. They come back like everybody the best of friends. And I be sitting there like, all right, I better not hear, hey, Bob, I better not hear you talk about Mary's dress again. Hey, Mary, I better not hear you say that um, Bob stinks. Like, I better not hear none of that since y'all done came back and y'all the best of friends. That's just me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I, like, I just like talking to y'all with the channel about things. <laughs> so leave a comment below. And if you're new to watching this channel, please don't be turned off by, by my little rant and rave. <laughs> Because y'all will find that I'm just a silly little person. That's it. I'm just silly. But I have a lot of opinions, man. I really, really do. Yup. So, anyway, let me know what y'all think about do you really need to participate in extracurricular activities? Do you really need to go to Christmas parties, you know, and get all comfortable and everything and then it always ends up wrong anyway you know and even if y'all do come back holding hands and singing kumbaya let's see how long that lasts and i don't want y'all to think that i'm not about people getting closer hey if if this team building actually brought you closer good but what i'm saying is should it be mandatory no it should not this is america land of the free <laughs> yeah but i actually in a good mood y'all y'all can tell right so anyway drop your comments below i will be talking to you guys soon all right have a good evening please give this video a thumbs up <laughs> i hope y'all like it and remember what i say don't like it if you don't like it but i want you to like it like and subscribe <laughs> until next time bye bye